All right, howdy. So here is the weekly brief for next week. Now, as you can see, I'm standing in front of the window and there's going to be um, a her tropical storm or Hurricane Harvey's coming through. So the things I'm about to tell you this week, they are subject to change based on days. Um, please check our website. Please pay attention to district information on the website um, or through the news. Um, about any changes about when the first day of school will be. But first of all, Tiger check-in on the first day of school. If you did not go through Tiger check-in on Thursday, August 17th, we ask all of those parents and kids to come in on the first day of school um, to do a very short Tiger check-in process, bring your proof of residency, and also make sure that your home access center is updated. We'll open the doors as early as 7.30 for families that have not gone through the Tiger check-in process, you'll probably be in and out in, in less than 10 to 15 minutes. Colored schedules. Home Access Center should be open today on the 25th for you to view schedules. Now understand that counselors may make a few tweaks and changes to schedules over the course of the week. So we ask that all students, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade to go to the gym on the first day of school and get a colored schedule. The color schedule is the most updated schedule and also our way of tracking who is at school and who is a no-show. So every child needs to get that. Schedule changes versus schedule corrections. We will make schedule corrections, change in program, change in um, uh, a level, a missing class. We will make those changes in the first day or two. As far as schedule changes, meaning I just changed my mind since we did the course selection process in April and May. That is on a case-by-case -case issue, typically approved by administration. In most cases, it will not be approved if it's simply just, I've changed my mind. So please understand that. Binder supplies. On the first day of school, we're going to provide about 30 minutes, 45 minutes for all grade levels to set up their school-wide binder. So we'd like everybody to have the materials for that day. Basically, a two or a three inch binder, pocket dividers or dividers, paper, a pencil bag with pencils, pens, highlighters, um, and then also their agenda. So please have those materials on that day. And also school pictures. On We're gonna have those the first week of school. So on Tuesday, September, I'm sorry, Tuesday, August 29th, we'll have boys and girls athletics and girls PE taking pictures on that day. On Friday, September 1st, we'll have boys PE. Anybody who's not in a girls PE or PE or athletics on that um, the 29th you will take your picture on the first as well and you can check um, some of the information on the website as well and then last thing I'm going to move over here on that first Friday on September 1st we are doing a college colors day so we're looking for that ultimate fan so if whatever your favorite college or university is, deck out in their apparel and gear. We are allowing some face paint, like a little bit of insignia, like number one or go Tigers on the face. So um, that would be great. Also, if you go to Party City, they have that temporary spray. For the first time ever, we are allowing kids to spray their hair with that temporary hair color that can be simply washed out in one washing. So everybody be safe um, with uh, Hurricane Harvey coming in, and we look forward to seeing you whenever the first day of school is.